the world that they showed me in the near future, in a couple hundred years from now, is a world that is difficult for me to understand or accept. There was some, what I saw was no visible signs of technology. If there, if there was technology, they hid it from me, <laughs> or it was so subtle <laughs> that I didn't even, s I couldn't even see it. You know, maybe that's the case, but I, I assumed that like in the future, it would be a world of like high technology, and they showed me a world of um, not low technology, of no technology, where um, people's relationship with God with the creation and with one another was so intense that human beings controlled the weather of the planet. Not just for the welfare of human beings, but for the welfare of the entire planet. Um, everybody in the world was telepathically connected to everybody else in the whole world. Um, people raised food by simply, um, uh, I don't know, meditating or thinking about the food, and the food would just grow, and then they would pick it and eat it. I mean, it was, um, you know, not instantaneous, but it just happened before your eyes. I mean, a cabbage would grow from a seed to a full-blown cabbage in a matter of a few minutes. Uh, people lived in small communities, People could move from community to community freely if they wanted to. Most people didn't move around very much. Um, some communities put an emphasis on music. Some communities put an emphasis on science. Some communities put an emphasis on um, celebration, um, liturgy, worship. Some communities um, spent their time on uh, physical relaxation and, and enjoyment. And, um, sports and that sort of thing. Um, some communities were very contemplative and did seemingly very little. Some communities were very active and sort of like um, were very much engaged with their environment, sort of um, what we would call gardeners, but they were literally environmental sculptors, you know, making these very beautiful places with the um, vegetation and the geology around them. I mean, Different communities had different emphasis, but they lived in total harmony with the um, flora and the fauna around them, in complete harmony with one another. And the um, main emphasis of every community was the individuals in the community, and most especially the children. Um, when people had experienced what they f felt was their full life experience, there would be a great celebration, and they would lay down, and they would um, die, and their souls, their spirits, whatever, would be raised up to heaven. Um, dying was not seen as a sad thing or a grievous thing. It was um, a joyous time. It was like it was celebrated as a birth. Um, people ate simply, dressed simply. From what I was shown, there were no possessions other than the clothes on their back and a few simple instruments like musical instruments or tools or things like that, which were pretty much shared communally. Um, it was a world that's very difficult for me to make any sense of it because it's like, you know, uh, there was great happiness, there was um, very little suffering, um, there was no disease because people could, um, he with, with um, laying on of hands, people could heal diseases immediately. The only um, real suffering that they showed me was sometimes people um, felt a sense of separateness. And the community would um, allow these people to feel that, but they would pray for that person. They would surround that person with love and bring that person back into the community. So it was it was possible for people to move a little bit away from the spirit of the community, but they were brought back into the community. No one was left, no one was ever lost for very long. But it was important sometimes for people to feel, you know, to appreciate what they had, they needed to, you know, lose a little bit of it once in a while. Um, the spirit of Christ lived in every heart, fully and completely. Um, 
it, it's a world that um, is so completely unlike the world that we live in that just how can we ever get there but they showed me that this was the world that God envisioned for us and it's not that far away